Welcome to the Redex Roof Builder tutorial and I'll show you how to create walls. This is going to be the first part and we're going to start by creating a new project. Let's go back. We're going to hit new build and let's have a look at how this works. So you can select any direction you want to build. So let's start with a up direction. You can enter a wall length. I'm going to, you can switch to feet, inches, centimeters, and millimeters. Let's go over to feet. Enter a wall length of 10 feet for this example. Hit done. Now you see we have, this is our starting point down in the corner here. And this is going to, uh, wall. this is just a preview wall. When you're ready to hit enter, hit add wall. And that added that wall there in the right there. Next, we choose our next direction. Very simple. We can choose a right and go left. We can go in any of these corners here at a 45 degree angle or on this side at a 45 degree angle. Let's just do a super simple wall. Let's hit add wall again. And we're gonna create a box here. You'll see this new close button appeared and that's uh, that close button is gonna automatically when it's available, it's going to automatically close your perimeter to go back to the start point. So if we go ahead and do that, hit close, you'll see the app added the required walls. So one down and one left to get back to the start point to close the perimeter. Once the perimeter has been closed, the app will automatically generate a default roof for you. Let's look at some more examples. In the top right corner here, we can hit refresh or reset, sorry, hit reset. And now we can start a new build. Let's have a look at adding different wall heights. Under advanced settings, you'll see we have our total wall height here. So for our first wall, let's set it at eight feet total wall height. Hit add wall. Let's choose our next direction. We're gonna enter a different wall height now. Let's do a wall height of nine feet. Hit done. Oh, sorry, I entered a wall length of nine feet. I meant to do, let's do a total wall height of nine feet. So we're gonna have two different wall heights and we'll see how the app uh, generates the roof for different wall heights. Let's go back to 10 feet, add wall, going to hit the close button again and let's see what that did and you'll see we have this wall height which is our, our eight feet was the first wall we did and then we added the other walls at nine feet and you'll see the the app automatically dropped the fascia here to match the rafter height above plate We'll talk about the rafter height above plate in the future. Um, let's look at a different example. Let's go ahead and reset. Add wall in the up direction. I'm going to go right. And I want to enter a custom wall angle. So you see, if I hit in the top right corner, that's a wall angle of 45 degrees. So if you imagine this line here came all the way up and or over, we had a 45 degree angle in there. If I want to enter a custom wall angle, let's have a look at entering a wall angle of 22 degrees. Hit done, and you'll see what that looks like. And that doesn't, I'm actually gonna enter a wall angle of 67 degrees. That's gonna look like that. Let's enter that wall, add wall. We're going to add another wall at a distance of two feet. Done. Add wall. I'm going to go up five feet. Add wall. I'm going to go in this direction. Another five feet. That's fine. Add wall. I'm going to go up. Let's do a one feet. This example. Add wall, it's gonna go right. Let's go three feet. And you'll notice as we start entering walls for bigger, you'll see the fascia starts being automatically generated around the house. 
we'll be able to edit the overhang value later in the roof settings. But keep going here to close the perimeter, add wall. I'm going to go back down one feet, add wall. I'm going to go in the right direction again. Let's go five feet again, add wall. And let's just stop it there. I'm going to hit the close button and that's going to automatically close the walls all the way down. So let's, do, let's try that. Close and you'll see the app automatically generated a roof there. Um, next we're going to look at how to edit roof settings.